Good morning. Good morning. What's going on today? Good morning. It is Friday, April 3rd. I cannot believe it is Friday. I am filling up my water. Oh, yeah. What's up? Hello, James. Hi, Joan. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. It's Friday, April 3rd. I cannot believe it. Oh, it's time for some water, right? Welcome and good morning. Welcome to Story Time with Donna V. I'm so excited that you're here. I am, oh, I think this is like week three, and I am like loving it. I've got an amazing books dropped off to my house. I've ordered some books. I mean, like the support has been crazy, and I just want to say thank you because it is just as good for me as it is for you. Um, I think reading is so important for children. I know a lot of people are homeschooling. Kids are homeschooling, but I know there's a lot of little ones out there that could use a distraction for a little while. And I know, good morning, Jonathan, that there are also um, my friend TJ, uh, they are, they are disinfecting our building at this time. Well, that's good to, that's great to hear, Joan. I'm very happy to hear that. But there are little kids, good morning, mom, who are incorporating this high raf into part of their school day. Hi, Ryan. How you doing? So my friend TJ, her, um, her moms are actually, they put me on their board. So from 10 to 11, good morning, Rick. From 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., it's like they put me on. They go have their coffee. Good morning, good morning. I was just speaking about you, Heather. And good morning, Betty. And good morning, TJ. A little hug for you. And, yeah, so I'm, like, so excited because I'm on her school schedule. And I'm doing this every day at 10 a.m. I'm reading for an hour. And I have nodules. And it's so funny because I was just thinking to myself, I used to speak 11 hours a day over, you know, doing someone's hair color. And I used to always get nervous that that's what it was that made it scratchy. But it's vocal abuse. I don't speak properly. And I have to figure that out. And yes, I have to go to some speech therapy. But Maybe one day a speech therapist will be watching this. They'll want to do something live about teaching someone speech therapy via Zoom. I'm, I'm a participant. I'll be your test dummy. Joan, you say my hair looks a different color today. It is because um, it is back. The ends are the lighter color. My roots are the darker color. Hi, Eileen. Good morning. And just like my clients... I am waiting it out. Uh, it's so funny because thank you, TJ. Oh, I love you. 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 So good morning. And, you know, it's funny because it's my voice. It's always been this way that I know of. And, you know, I guess it is just me. So I, I don't know. I'm excited about figuring that out one day. But yeah, Joan, so I decided um, I'm not going to color my hair until I get to color my client's hair. Somebody asked me yesterday, yeah, and also I know right now in Arizona, there are salons open and they're considering themselves essential workers. I'm considering myself an essential mom. I got to be here for my kids. And as much as I love my clients and I love doing their hair and it could help me out financially because... You know, that's what, it was my career. Um, but guess what? I got to be a mom. I got to be here. I have to set the example for my daughters and I have to stay home. So on that note, let's start our morning with a little stretch like we always do, right? So I always say, whether you're in a chair because you just can't get up or because you choose to, or for whatever reason, you can still stretch. So you want to move that upper body, reach all the way up, 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 stretch your neck, stretch it, stretch it, never go further than what you think you can handle. So don't stretch if it hurts, right? Kids come first. That's right, Joan. You know that we believe in that. 
So, stretching. Hi, good morning, Diane. I loved your posts this morning. I feed my little person with cookies too. Oh, you know, it's good push. Like push your hands together. Give it a little pressure. Ooh, it's a good stretch for like your, your little wings back there. So I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We have so many cool things coming up. So tomorrow, I will be making a post about this. But tomorrow, good morning, Deborah Chen. Um, I have a local author who is a client. And she wrote two books. And I will be reading her books. She dropped, she reached out to me. They're children's books. She dropped them off to my home. They are adorable. I cannot wait for that tomorrow on Saturday. Sunday, I have another author that I am friends with who wrote a book. And her book is more about life lessons and spirituality. So, never stretch your, never, okay, thank you. Never stretch your neck with your arms in the air. Never do it again. So, Sunday, we have um, a little bit of hopeful spirituality, gratitude stories. So excited. Also, I always read a little something from one of my favorite books in the whole world, A Beginner's Guide to the Universe. Mike Dooley wrote this. I'm going to read a little bit more of that on Sunday. So Sunday's going to be a little bit of a feel good, you know, say a little bit of a prayer, put some, you know, positivity into the universe. I decided, no, I'm not preaching. I'm not, although I could marry you because I am, I am ordained, but that's not what it is. It's just, I feel like right now we could use a little bit of that and moms and dads and kids are watching together. Dads and dads, moms and moms, whoever. Good morning, Caitlin. So I thought that'd be a good idea for Sunday and a good way to read one of my friend's books, who is an author. I didn't forget, TJ. There's just a lot of people rolling in here today. How could I forget? Water is so important. It is so important. Joan, you know, you should do some videos to help people out with fitness. I know you're retired, but come out of retirement. People need you. All right, guys, you know what else it's time to do, like TJ just said. It's time to take your vitamins. I already brushed my teeth, so it's time to take your vitamins. I may have to order more vitamins. It's a really important part of growing healthy, staying healthy, right? So thank you, TJ, for the reminder. It's vitamin time. And you know, this one looks a lot more like my hair today because of my dark roots. <laughs> And just so you know, yes, I'm not doing my roots, but I have pink shampoo. So that's what I do. I'm not going to chew it my mouth open. So I'll go like this. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. This is when, you know what's fun? I can go like this. Mm -hmm. I'm chewing upside down. Don't ever do that. Okay. Woo. Wow. That is great. Yes, I know you take first form, and that's great. What flavor are you taking today? You have orange. I like red. Red is my favorite. Green is my least favorite. Followed by yellow, then orange, and then red. That's my order, and I'm sticking to it. Yeah, you should. That's what you should do. I think it would be a good idea. Okay, so the other thing we have to do is a letter of the day. Guys, we have to do a letter of the day. Now, <clears throat> good morning, Michael Cisco. Our letter of the day is going to be something that we haven't done. I've been trying to remember what it is that we've done. And I don't think that we've done this letter. And I'm going to say, why is the letter of today? Y is the end, the ending letter of every day. Friday, right? Today's Friday. Last letter is Y. Why? I don't know. That's just the way they spell it. <laughs> so let's express some letters, uh, rather some words that start with the letter Y. Can you think of any? Just put it in your, type it out to me. I'd love to see it. Yes, we're going to have a good day. 
yellow. Why? Hmm. Yay! Yay! Yay is why. I love yay. That's one of my favorite words. Yams. Yourself. Very good, TJ. Hmm. Yay. Why? Hmm. Yoga! Yoga is a great word, Joan. That's awesome. Yogi is my dog. He's sleeping over there. Hi, Daria. Yay. Today's letter is Y. Good morning, Kim. So today's letter is Y. We already have yoga, yourself. Yay. yippity Judah. Yogi, my dog. Yellow. Yes. Youth. Very good. I love that one. Youth. And one more. One more. Let's see. Hmm. Yummy. Young. Oh, please. I had sheet marks on my face this morning. I had to put a little bit of a moisturizer yesterday. And we can't even worry about yesterday because today is the day. Okay, so I'm sure we'll have to talk about these letters in a little bit. So let's just keep some things in mind. Yearning. Yearning for learning. I love that. <clears throat> so, and we know everything will be okay. Look at that. Why? Why? Why is there everywhere? I love it. <sighs> we have to figure out now also what we're going to breathe in and breathe out to focus and center ourselves. But I always like to look in and open up a random page in my favorite book. Ooh. Wow. This is so good. Are you ready? You're already one of the most important people who will ever live. Good morning, John Jones. Yes, that is what I love this little book so much. I'm going to read more from it Sunday. But you're already one of the most important people that will ever live. Remember that. That's why you have to take care of yourself and be mindful. So, hi, Victor. Good morning. I'm loving your videos. John Jones, I'm, I want some ice cream. So today, we breathe in and we breathe out to center ourselves, to focus, because we know adults as well as kids, when we're about to really get into a book and focus and listen, pay attention, and me to have to focus to read, because sometimes my mind is all over the place. It's really good to breathe in and breathe out. Good morning, Vin. Some intentions. So since why is the letter... Let's breathe in. Hmm. Let's breathe in. Well, how about let's breathe in, yes, and breathe out. No, no, no. That's not going to work. What can we breathe in? Maybe we could breathe in focus and breathe out. Hmm. Hi, Ken. Good morning. Breathe out. Thanks, Victor. You're the best. I'm here. What? Okay. Oh, I know what that is. That's something to do with trucks. That's not what it looks like. Okay. Let's breathe in focus and breathe out distraction. Right? Let's do that. I'm going to keep yours in mind till the end, Joan. And are you wearing Christmas pajamas and you're an elf too? I still have my tree up. I don't want to take it down. I really enjoy it. Okay, see what's happening? I get so distracted. It's like oogly boogly up there. Okay, so we're going to breathe in. Focus. Breathe out distraction. And then we're going to read a book. Okay. Focus. Distraction. Focus. It's working. Focus. Distraction. One more time. Focus. Distraction. Wow. That 
was nice. You ready to read a book? I am. Could I have a little sip of water? <clears throat> ah, so good. Okay. Today, for the first book, we always read a little book. Okay, we always read a little book so that the little kids can remember, follow along, and try to memorize. We're going to do a very simple book to start because my other two books today are so exciting. Both on loan, one from my friend TJ and one from my friend Ella who made me this amazing artwork and put it in the bag with the books that she dropped off. Okay? I'm telling you guys, everybody can get involved in this universal love fest of increasing the positive energy. It's amazing. <clears throat> this is one of my favorite books that I ever read to my children when they were little. It would make them giggle so much and it made me so happy. They would yell like, oh, more, 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 because they loved it, okay? <clears throat> it's called Where's Nikki? Simple book, but it's so good, especially for kids. And, you know, we're all just big kids. <gasps> Where's Nikki? You little ones out there, do you see him? Where is he? <gasps> Here he is. Here he is. How cute is he? That's so cute. He's got a little diaper cover on. You know, he's wearing a little blue diaper cover, a little green shirt, and he's just the cutest. <gasps> Where's Nikki? Do you guys see him? Is he in his high chair? <gasps> What's that? <gasps> oh, good morning, Robert. <gasps> Here he is. Wow, he's got a bunny. <gasps> he's got a bunny. <gasps> Where's Nikki? Ha! Here he is. Oh, no, I jumped the gun. Hi, Nick. <laughs> I can see him. I know. I swear. I used to love reading this book to my kids. I got a little ahead of myself. I'm sorry. <gasps> Here he is. He is a redhead. He's a ginger. Like TJ. Actually, really, like Heather. Where's Nikki? Do you guys see him? Can you find him? Good morning, Sam. <gasps> Here he is. He's in the bathtub. That bunny's always right near him. <gasps> Where's Nikki? <gasps> Here he is. Hi, Michelle. Guys, so that's our first book for the little ones. So that hopefully by the end of this, they'll learn the words to the book. But you know what that bunny reminded me of? Bet you know. It reminded me of my buddy, my little buddy, my social distancing buddy bear. And what's the reason for having him? So you have someone to hug. Because I know that right now, you guys, you're used to being in school, or getting to see a grandma or a grandpa. And maybe you're used to hugging somebody. And right now, we have to be a little careful, right? So it's really good to have a designated hugging buddy, right, Teddy Bear? Because some of us, our mommies or daddies, are nurses and doctors, and they're working. And some of us have 
mommies and daddies that are working as police officers. And, you know, sometimes it's tough to not see your friends and not see some people in your family. And it might make you upset. So really what's good about it is, is you find a, like, a, I found you right there. We found each other. And he is just the cutest, sweetest buddy. And anytime I need to give a little squeeze, maybe, I don't know, maybe Courtney's downstairs sleeping because she sleeps late, right? And maybe once in a while, I just need to get some frustration out or some sadness or some happy. And you know what? You're always here for me, aren't you, buddy? So just find yourself a little buddy and you just give him a hug. And you can even take a picture of yourself giving your favorite buddy a hug, send it to your grandma or grandpa, and maybe text them and say, wishing this was you, or this is a hug for you. Wouldn't that be a nice idea? Right? I think so. Okay, so you're going to go listen to the stories because we have a lot more to read. Okay. The next book I'm going to read. Good morning, Jackie Carloni. So our letter today is why. Why not? That's really not how you spell it, though. That's, it's very confusing. The word why starts with a W. But why is the Y sound. Like as in, but it's also yeah. <laughs> like as in yellow or yes or yippee or youth, yearning, yeah. But it's also the last letter in all of the days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Pretty interesting, right? It's a pretty important letter. It's a pretty interesting way to draw it. I'm not quite sure. But this is the traditional way. And this is an artistic expression. I like art. Okay, so... My next book. Let me grab it. Okay. I'm so excited to share it with you. Yogi, am I waking you up? I'm so sorry. <laughs> He's looking at me like, you want to come over here, Yogi? Come here. Yogi, you want to say hi? Come here. Yogi's looking at me like, mm -mm. good morning, Peter. Texas is here. I love that. I love that you're here. Okay. My dog is looking at me like I'm crazy. So the next book that we'll be reading, <clears throat> courtesy on loan from my friend TJ, is none other. Hello, Samantha. OMG, Samantha. I was thinking about you last night. And I miss you. Is Mr. Mustache. Mr. Mustache. I'm going to be reading Mr. Mustache. We read Mr. Lazy. We read, we read Mr. Rude. Guess what? I just got an entire order of books in. And there, I have all the Mr. Books. I can't wait. But right now, I'm going to be completely reading loner books. Along with the ones that I ordered. Because it's so important. Because I want the people that dropped off books to know that I consider that what they did was pretty amazing. Right? I think so. Okay. Ready? Mr. Mustache. Check out Mr. Mustache and his friend. They're going to go fishing. I love it. Does anybody out there fish? I can bait my own hook. It's true. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. How am I going to read this today? Because the letters are really tiny. I'm going to do a little bit of this today, guys. All right? Mr. Mustache has a mustache. A quite splendid mustache. And Mr. Mustache is a gentleman. A gentleman is polite and helpful and thoughtful and generous. And Mr. Mustache was all these things. And all these things made him wise. A wisdom he likes to share with his friends. He taught that a gentleman always tells the truth. 
even about the one that got away. Hmm. People on fishing trips like to say, I caught a fish this big. Meanwhile, we know that it wasn't. And Mr. Mustache taught that a jet, yeah, taught that a gentleman is unrushed and calm. And when he is late for kickoff, <gasps> kickoff, we miss football. On the 1st of November, Mr. Mustache went to the barber for a trim. I didn't quite read that correctly. Let me do that again as to not confuse you. I make mistakes, just human. And this is the first time I'm reading this book as well. And Mr. Mustache taught that every gentleman is unrushed and calm, even when he's late for kickoff. Got it. It's really important to check out your punctuation. Okay. Yes, Jeff's story. On the 1st of November, Mr. Mustache went to the barber for a trim. I hope so. It was so comfortable in the barber's chair that he fell asleep. But when the barber had finished, Mr. Mustache woke up to a terrible shock. <gasps> there in the mirror was a reflection of himself, a reflection that had no mustache. The barber had shaved him clean. What? what? Look at that. That is just. And as the week went on, Mr. Mustache discovered that this was not the only difference. For instance, when he left the baker's, he let the door slam shut on Mr. Nosy's nose. What is happening? Look at, ouch! I could go for a cupcake. Man! That's crazy. When he went to Mr. Perfect's house for tea, he did not bother to wipe his feet. Why would you do that? Yes, no shave November. They should have known better, Peter. That's so sad. And when he met little Miss Splendid, he told her exactly what he thought of her new hat. She doesn't look too happy about that. Why would he do that? Why, why, why? Hey, why is the letter of the day? Holy moly, where's my why? Oh, I seem to have misplaced my why. Oh dear, said Mr. Mustache to himself. What has happened to me? Losing my mustache has stopped me from being a gentleman. Fortunately for Mr. Mustache, mustaches grow back. He's got a five o'clock shadow. I felt I lost my funny when I broke my tooth. But I didn't. I came back. And as it grew, Mr. Mustache found that he became more and more his old gentlemanly self. Oh, Mr. Nosy has got a bandage on his nose. That is a rather large nose. Looking at his slowly growing mustache each day in the mirror, Mr. Mustache had an idea. Maybe growing a mustache might help some of his other friends. Some of his other friends who could learn some manners. So he persuaded his friends each to grow a mustache with him in November. Whoa! That is crazy, Peter. Did you read this book before? Did you know about this? It is about 
No Shave November. It's all coming together. Uh oh. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. And his friends' mustaches grew, so their behavior changed. Even Mr. Grumpy became a little more of a gentleman. Wow. This is so mind-blowing. Reading is amazing, you guys. Yesterday, we learned all about the planets and the universe. Today, No Shave November and by the last day of November, Mr. Mustache was back to his old, polite, thoughtful, helpful, and generous self. And all of his friends had the most splendid mustaches. <gasps> I love this guy's mustache. The squiggly one. This guy looks like the leader of the Emerald Society. And this guy looks like one of the drummers. Or is he a bagpiper? No, nope, he's a drummer. I'm so confused. Yes, I do have a I have a fireplace, but I need to figure out how to use it. I got it fixed last year. It's so funny that you asked that. The universe is so awesome. The universe, awesome. I'll explain later. I just was looking for the number for my chimney people. Particularly Mr. Silly. Look at Mr. Silly. Mr. Silly has the coolest mustache. It looks like, it looks like a broom. It's so cute. And then isn't that Mrs. Tiny or something? I don't know, I'm getting to know all the characters. I can't wait, I love these characters. However, the less said about Mr. Sneeze's effort, the better. Now that's funny because I just sneezed. What the heck? I love this. Ooh, is that a tear or is that something from a sneeze? He better wash his hands. Now, although Mr. Mustache was back to his old self, there was one new thing in his life, he had learned a new lesson. I love that. Look, look at that. I miss the barber pole. <gasps> my people, my people. Never fall asleep at the barber's. Good morning, Tracy. Hi. And then there's something about November. Yes. It says the month formerly known as November is a mustache growing charity event held each year to raise funds and awareness for men's health around the world. Real men grow real mustaches. Movember. Or move out. <gasps> there is, and I won't take it out because it's not my book. It's TJ's. But there's a mustache in the back. I have the chills. Because I like, I love it. We now look like that. And you know what's crazy? I did a show for November, No Shave November, and we had mustaches. And I should have brought my mustache up here. I wonder if I have it. Ooh. I don't want to leave you. I know. I could take it out, TJ. Wait, it literally just fell out of the book. As you said that, you saw that. I didn't even take it out. The, the universe is like totally amazing. First of all, it is totally representative of a lot of people have unibrow right now. I couldn't grow a successful mustache or unibrow if the universe paid me. I have to pencil my bad boys on. That's kind of like, this is what some people look like when they go a little bit overboard with their eyebrows. You've been taking it out. Okay. Okay, good. I didn't want to break your book. 
<gasps> I will quarantine this before I give you your book back. I'll wipe it down. I promise. You know what would be so fun? Is if we stuck it, like, on to something. Like, my flute. <laughs> and then it's like, well, hello, TJ. How are you today? If I only had a monocle, I could speak like this. Well, I'm speaking like it without a monocle. But... And then I'm like a Jersey girl. I need to get my eyebrows done. My nails need to be done. You guys, this is terrible. And then we say, hashtag, stay home. Stay home. Well, that was a fun book. That was a fun book. I had no idea that that was what this book was about, but it makes me so happy. Because you know I like to raise money for charity. So... <laughs> Moving right along to the next book. Let's get it. Let's get it. Shall we? Okay. Let's see. This is called... Wait, where is it? This is on loan from the Cheche family. Good morning, Angela. How are you? This is where I got this lovely, lovely artwork. And I love it from Ella. Ari and Ella. The girls over there. With Aubrey. I know. Now, look at this, guys. Do you see that? It's a unicorn. Actually, it's a narwhal, I think. Or, I don't know. Ella, you gotta let me know. <gasps> Good morning, Keith Barrow. It's my little soy sauce there. So today, we are going to read a book called Too Many Toys by David Shannon. Is it possible to have too many toys? The Serpent Kid book. Why? Because there's lots and lots of words. Lots of pictures, too. Are you ready? Good morning, Joseph. Joseph Casada Makes me want a quesadilla. I'm not making fun. I have synesthesia. Oh, my gosh. Raph, are you still here? Does anybody know what synesthesia is? I should do a whole video about synesthesia. I'll give you a quick little bit of trivia. Yeah, you read this book before? So synesthesia is a cross in the synapse of the brain. And I have it. It's not contagious. And for me, every time I hear certain names, it reminds me, well, it doesn't. It, it gives me the sensation of food, right? So quesadilla, that is obvious because of the fact that your name is quesada. But since I was a little girl, I've had this. And my brother and I both share the same thing. The word grown-ups, every time I hear it, it's yellow American cheese in plastic wrap. Slice of cheese. Grown-ups. It's weird. James, my friend James, his name is James Nono. Every time I hear the word James, the name, it's French cut string beans in a can. I'm not making this up. I'm not. I don't even wish I was because it's kind of cool. It's not word association, Peter. You, I'm going to post a post about it. It's called synesthesia. Somebody's calling my house phone. Not today, kids. I'm reading to kids. Synesthesia. Look it up. I'm going to post about it. That's going to be another video I'm going to do. Like, for instance, Keith, every time I hear it, read it or whatever, is the white meat inside of a chicken tender. Keith. Wow. Puerto Rican, Cuban, and Italian. Okay. Very cool. Good morning, V. V Rock. I love that. I know that's not your name, but I just like saying V Rock. I'm Donna V or D Rock. So how cool is that? Right? So that's awesome. Well, bendición, Joseph. Dios te bendiga. Wait, Dios te bendiga. Hello. 
Arroz con pollo. I could say that. I also I could say a couple things in Spanish. Not a lot, but I had to know it when I was reading Skippy John Jones the other day. <whistles> Adios mio. <laughs> okay, so Too Many Toys by David Shannon. Okay, here we go. What was that? I thought it was the dog. So the letter for today is Y. Yes, we're reading another book. Okay. Hi, Anna. Stephanie would be proud. She taught me a lot of the Spanish I know. Yeah, de nada. That's what she says. Okie dokie. Here we go. Spencer had too many toys. They covered the floor of his bedroom and piled up in his closet. They were stashed under his bed. They spilled down the stairs and into the living room. Ay, Dios mío. Wow. He's got a lot of toys. I think he's a cute kid, though. Spencer is so cute. Do you see Spencer? I got to figure this out, guys. It's a big page. I have to turn off my um, comments so I could read. Perfect. Thank you. He had big toys in the backyard. Look how cute he is in his little space helmet. I love that. And little toys in the bathtub. Wow, look at that, clown bubbles. Look at the duck family, turtles. There's a turtle, submarine. He's got a lot of toys in there. Sometimes, sometimes Spencer played with, an, oh, so, what did I tell you? I'm human, even though I dress as a unicorn, I am only human. Let me button this up if I'm going to do that. It's just so warm. It's like I'm not a young unicorn like I used to be. So these may be a little warm. Okay. So sometimes Spencer played with nice, quiet, wooden pull toys. Other times he played with noisy, crazy electronic toys he had puzzles board games and talking books that fueled his mind look at that look at that it's so important so important to fuel your mind and loud jumpy frenzied video games that fried it guys don't fry your brains you don't want to do that Man, he's got a lot of cool stuff in there. Spencer liked to make his toys into... <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Spencer liked to make his toys into a parade that stretched from one corner of the house to the other and back again. There was an entire zoo of stuffed animals and a gigantic army of little action figures. Look at it. Look at how many cool toys he has. Wow. So cool. Is that a wrestler? Is that a chicken? Army men? Spacemen? He's got a lot of cool stuff. Hi, Sherry. Good morning. Hi, Rocco. Good morning. He had so many toys. He had a fleet of planes, trains, and toy boats, and a convoy of miniature trucks and cars. Wow. Dinosaurs. So cool. He also had... Lots of instruments, musical instruments, and art supplies, and alien spacemen weapons. 
Ooh, that's my favorite page. You know why, right? Because that, and I love to do artwork. I love it. Painting, so much fun. <gasps> Look at all these people. Oh. Everyone gave toys to Spencer, of course. His mom, his dad, they all did. But so did Grandma Bo wait, pfft, Grandma Bobo and Poppy and Grand Diddy and Auntie Mimi and Uncle Fred and Cousin Drew. They gave him toys for every holiday, even the 4th of July and his birthday, of course. <laughs> he also got toys from all of his friends on his birthday. And on their birthdays, too, when he went to their parties, he got toys at the drive-thru with his kid burger and at school for having lots of peace person points. Now, that's an interesting concept. And at the dentist and at the doctor when he didn't squirm? I mean, gosh darn it. That is a lot of toys. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I just said this. Are you serious? That is a lot. It literally just says it on the page. That, wait, where is it? That's a lot of toys. I, I could have wrote this. I'm going to write a children's book by the time this is done. <gasps> Uh oh, swear it turns. So they were becoming a household hazard. Have you ever stepped on a Lego piece in your bare feet or a jack? Well, it really hurts, especially if you weigh as much as Spencer's dad. You can also trip, trip on things like railroad tra tracks and race cars if you're carrying a load of laundry. Those look like my slippers. See your slippers? They're like the same exact pink slipper. Oh my gosh. Well, maybe they're not the same exact, but they're close. Holy macaroni. Guys, whew, ha, working myself up into a sweat. Gotta take off my hood. Whew, whew. This book makes me anxious. Do you guys get anxious when you read stuff like that? It makes me a little nervous. I wonder what's going to happen. You think he's going to get time out? Do you guys get time out or in trouble when you leave your toys on the floor? Especially if somebody steps on them and accidentally hurts himself. I mean, it wasn't on purpose, I'm sure. I have stuff all over my floor. Oh, no! Guys. I'm not even holding it close because it's scary enough back here. I don't want to frighten you kids. That's not what I'm here for. Hi, Karen. You just got here for the scary part of the story. The one part that the mom is yelling. Oh, I'm going to hold it back here, okay? Okay. One day, Spencer's mom had had it up to here with all the toys. Spencer! She yelled on her way upstairs. You have too many toys! Is that possible? That's impossible, said Spencer. I think I found my spirit animal. It's Spencer. Then she said, 
We're going to get rid of some of them. Ah! What? 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 I could cry right now for Spencer. I could cry right now for Spencer. That's a catastrophe! Pick out which toys you don't want, she ordered. And put them in this box. But I love them all, cried Spencer. I feel you. I know. My basement is like that, Spencer. This poor kid. I get it, Spence. Look at this face. I could cry for him. You know what I need right now? I need a little hug. I feel bad. It stinks when you get in trouble or when you have to give your stuff away. Right? Sometimes other people need it more. And that's always a good thing to do to share. Or if you just clean up your stuff and they don't want to give it away. Trust me, I've been trying to tell my kids forever. So, okay. All right, his mother said. I'll help you. She picked up an alien space ninja. How about this one? You haven't played with this one in years. But, but I was just about to. Spencer, his mother said. It doesn't even have a head. I'm making him a new one, Spencer replied. Fine, said Spencer's mother. But this could definitely go. She put down the alien and picked up a filthy one-eared bunny. No, not Mr. Fluffers, Mommy, not Mr. Fluffers. How could you? Well, then this one, then, she said. Well, that's Mr. Fluffers' best friend. <sighs> this one? Mother, have you forgotten? Grandma Bobo gave me that on my fourth birthday. And I'll never be four again, ever. Ever. Oh, please, Spencer, said Mom, rolling her eyes. Don't be so dramatic. <laughs> I'm telling you, Spencer, I'll take you home with me. We're going to keep all the toys. Okay, she said. You can keep that one, but I'm giving away this pig, the Johnny Choo Choo, and I'll tell you what. The Johnny Choo Choo? Look it. Not the pig. No way. Nope. 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 And nope. I'm not going for it. Tell you what, countered Spencer. I'll let you have the pig, but I get the Johnny Choo Choo. What are you, a lawyer now? Said Spencer's mother. You can keep the Johnny Choo Choo, but the cow goes in the box too. Deal? How about two Gitchagumis instead, said Spencer, and I'll throw in a little peeper of your choice. How about all of them go in a box or you don't watch TV for a week? Spencer decided it was in his best interest to agree. Deal. Can't believe he broke down that easy. Why do you need TV? You have all those toys. Don't worry about TV. Play with the toys. Finally, some toys in the box. Besides Spencer's mom, I said that wrong. I'm a little worked up over this book. Finally, some toys in the box, said Spencer's mom. I had no idea this would be so much work. Look at him, he's so cute. 
So cute. How could you give away pig? She does look exhausted. I mean, really. At least she doesn't look as scary. Right? She looks exhausted. She looks like a lot of moms right now, I think. She plopped down on the floor next to an egg-shaped pirate that bellowed, Arr, Avast, ye scurvy dog! Avast! Arr, scurvy dog, dervy dog, dervy dog. Here's another one you could do without, she said. No problem, said Spencer. His mom nearly fell over. What? You're going to give it up just like that? Sure, Spencer replied. That's dad's. <laughs> That's dad's. That's funny. Wow. No way. That's not what he gives away, right? So Spencer and his mom went through every toy box and looked in every closet and under every bed until they had haggled and wrestled and argued over every toy in the entire house. Finally, they were finished and his mom had a cup of hot tea and a short rest. That's a lot. That is a lot. Do you see all that? Do you see all of the book? I mean the books. The toys in that box. Can you see? Oh boy. That makes me sad. Oh my goodness, look at that mother. Then she went upstairs to begin loading the toys in the car, but instead of a nice neat box of toys all ready to go, she saw a big messy pile of toys all over the floor. Can you see it? Spencer! What have you done? What? We had a deal. You are right, Mom, Spencer called from his bedroom. I do have too many toys, but we can't give away. I don't know why I just turned into an Italian woman. But we can't, uh, but we can't give away this box. Yes, Spencer. I know you parents out there are like covering your kids' ears. But inside, I definitely am a kid at heart. And I have to tell you, that's brilliant. But we can't give away this box. Oh. It's the best toy ever. He made a spaceship out of it. That is great. I love that. That was great, you guys. What a great book. Thank you so much, Ella Cheche, for letting me borrow this book. Too many toys. I think it's going to go down in my history book as one of my favorites. I really liked it. Well, you know what time it is. It's time to breathe, focus, and get ready for the rest of our day. Whether the rest of your day is homeschooling, whether the rest of your day is cleaning out your toys, whether the rest of your day is taking a nap, making a bed, helping out somebody that needs help. We should really just breathe and center. And then we have tomorrow to look forward to. Right? Right. Okay. So let's do this. Why is the letter of today? I try to stick it on my head every time we do our breathing. And I don't know if I have any books on owls. I'll have to look and we can talk about that after. We're going to do our breathing now and end our story time. So, let's do this. Let's breathe in gratitude. Because gratitude changes everything. And let's breathe out. 
What was somebody's word before? I turned off my thing, so let's see. Forgot what to do. <whistles> Yogi is snoring. Okay. Gratitude and yippee. Let's do it. Let's end this on a bang, right? Let's do it. We're going to breathe in gratitude, and we're breathing out yippee. And guys, kids, moms, dads, 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 moms, moms, feral kids, I want to hear yippee really loud. Let's shake the world with the yippee, okay? Let's do it. In with gratitude, out with yippee. Yippee! <laughs> Probably not good for my nodules. Gratitude. <sighs> Yippee! Gratitude. Yippee! I got so excited, I forgot to breathe out. <laughs> I get excited, I can't even help myself. <sighs> Gratitude. Yippee. Guys, thank you so much. I appreciate every time that you're here with me. It makes me happy. I hope it makes you happy. It has been my pleasure. I so hope that you have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Know that everything will be okay. And I'll see you in the morning. Yippee. No, it's not moving. No, I don't think it's moving. I wonder if I, like, shake it off. Can't shake it off. Silly, right? Oh, TJ, Zoom, I'm down. You and me, nobody else does it. I'm down. Guys, I've offered millions of times, Zoom live with the reader. I'm not an author yet, but we could Zoom. We could talk to each other for 10 minutes. I'm going to put it in the comments. I'm going to give us another shot. I would love it if anybody would like to. Please know I will not tolerate anything that would be considered spamming. This is a safe space for kids. Kids have not, like, they can't connect. They need to connect. Let's talk about the book. Anybody that's watching that has kids that wants to connect, I'm going to be putting a Zoom ID address at the bottom of this. Let's do it. Let's connect. Thank you. So much love to everybody. God bless. See you in the morning. If I could end it. <laughs> I'm a goofball. Oh, 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 oh.